Hello and welcome back to the 2019 Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship fueled by Petron. My name is Aaron Thompson we're coming to you now for race 22 of the season but before then let's have a quick walk down the pit lane. Day 2 here at the Madras Motors Motorsport Club. We're about to start race 22. It's been a great weekend so far. We've got some great young champions coming out of this series. Watch out for the action. I'll hand you back to race control. Thank you very much, Peter. Now back to race control to watch the start of the race. Pole position, we have Luke Allen, followed closely by Mira Erda and Muiz Mushafa, making it an interesting start to the race. I'm sure with Muiz trying to get his way up onto the podium for the first time this weekend. Just behind him, we have Alistair Young, another Malaysian, head of Elias Sapanin, Shihab Al Habsi, Sneha Sharma, and Yash Radia. As you can see, all the cars taking their position on the starting uh, on the starting line just now. In a moment, you'll see a uh, marshal with the green flag at the back of the track. Here we go, we're underway. Great start from Luca, gets away nicely. Alistair Young, fantastic start though, up into second position, already past Luis Machapa, who seems to get off the line very poorly, while Vlaya Sapan and she Al Habsi up into third and fourth position, respectively, as Yash Adia goes around the inside. Luis Machapa at turn one, will there be contact? No, there's not. Elias goes a little bit wide, then ducks up the inside, trying to make a move on Jihab, can't quite make it stick, but number 17 seems to try and do the same thing on uh, Luis Machapa. Can he find position and get up past through turn three? We'll see in just a moment if you look at the right hand side of your screens, if it's an orange number 13, Luis held position, yes he did, but you can see our Yash Adia, India's her favorite racing son, trying all over behind the back of Luis Mishafra through the kink, he's right up behind him, tail to nose, they're going to come side by side through turn 4, can he make something happen, he's got a better line now through turn 15, but no, he goes very wide, he's off the track, that's Yash Adia in the orange number 17, off track at the exit of turn number 4, going through turn number 5, he might get stuck in the grass there, we may have to delay racing, but at the moment anyway, Luke Allen is building a nice lead at the front of the pack, and the blue number 3 at the front of your screen ahead of Alistair Young in the excuse me Alistair Young in the pink number 22 card just behind him as they come through the exit of turn 7 and up down into 7B this is going to right now ladies and gentlemen as you can see it looks like Shihab Al Habsi in the red card just behind the pink car on screens at the moment is challenging Alistair already Luca uh, a little bit of a lead but uh, it's nothing that these drivers can't close in with. Uh, actually, that's, that's Elias Sapanin, the red number 58, is uh, closing in on, uh, on Alistair Young in second position. So that's a very interesting kind of event. At the start of the race, we've got Luke Allen still in first position, followed by Alistair Young, then Elias Sapanin, then Shihab Al Habsi, all fantastic drivers fighting for position here this weekend and the event championship. As we come around turn 10, 11, and 12 now with, the, with uh, Alistair Young in the pink number 22 car in second position, just ahead of Elias Sapanin as he crosses the east start finish straight. Fantastic opening lap here to the 22nd race of the season, but it's not over yet. As you can see, Shihab Al Habzi in third position is looking to get back on the top of the podium. He's had a taste of it now. He's not going to give it up easily. But Yash Adia in the orange number 17, uh, who was challenging uh, uh, Luis Mushafa, is nowhere to be seen. Hopefully, he did manage to recover. We'll have a look now as we dive down into turn four in just one corner. But Maurice Machapa happily, uh, happily secured his position. I believe it's P5 at the moment, just behind what would be um, Elias uh, Shihab Al Habzi, if I'm not mistaken. Coming down into turn four, I don't see an orange car, so that means Yash Adia must have found his way back onto track and rejoined. Hopefully, no problems there for him, and uh, maybe we'll see him back up in a good position uh, next race. Let's have a look at the timing screens though. Alistair Young is the fastest opening lap at 1.2 to 5.36, three tenths faster than anybody else. And, uh, and does a fantastic job from Malaysia to get himself up into second position. Great start from him. Let's see if he, uh, if he has anything to answer Luke Allen with, because you can see the gap between first and second is already significant. But of course, Alistair contending with Elias Panin, who is a fantastic young driver. The man coming all the way from Finland driving the red number 58, really challenging Alistair Young in pink number 22 at the moment. As you can see, it's definitely respected of uh, why Luca is managing to get such a fantastic lead at the beginning of this race. But there's still a lot of time left on the board, 17 minutes, which translates into about six or seven laps here at the Madras Motor Race Track as we come around turn 10, now up over the bridge through turn 11, down into turn 12 and on to the next lap of the race once again with Luke Allen at the front of the pack fantastic ladies and gentlemen fantastic race to watch so far let's see what happens as we cross the start finish line will we get an update now on the timing boards and see where everyone is I think the gap between Elias and Alistair is definitely closing and I think the gap between uh, Alistair, excuse me, Elias and Shehab is, uh, is approaching the point where Shehab might be able to make a move in the coming laps. But look at this, the orange number 13 car from Luis Mashafa challenging for fourth position with uh, Shehab Al-Habsi across the start-finish line. Let's see if we can get an update 
now as they come down into sector into sector two at the end of this uh, at the end of this little kink in the road here with Luke Allen still leading us in the blue number three car. So let's have a look back. We got a 1:42.536. Nope, that's last time. That's uh, last lap's time still up on the board. So they haven't refreshed yet. We'll get back to that in just a moment when they when they update. But for for now, let's have a look back uh, at the mid pack. I should say with uh, last Alistair, of course, in the pink number 22, edging out a little bit of a lead in this the second sector now of the race, of course, of the lap, I should say. Of course, the second sector broken from uh, turn four until turn nine, and uh, Alice seems to be quite quick here, but Elias Apanin under under pressure from Shihab Al-Habsi and Moise Mishap just behind him. Moise got a, a terrible start at the beginning of the race, but definitely challenging Shihab Al-Habsi for position now. You can see the cars getting closer together as we approach the slower, slow, I mean, the harder breaking points there at, uh, at turn eight, down into turn nine, use all the track here off onto the service road and everything as we come up into 9B, which is flat out, I assume, and break halfway through turn 10. Fantastic here. Fantastic to watch this as we come with uh, Elias Apan in the red note here on screen at the moment. Of course, Elias had a brilliant weekend here last time around at the Madras Motor Race Track, winning three out of four races on the podium, three out of four times as well. Very good news for Finland. Uh, not quite what he wanted this weekend. I'm sure he was expecting a repeat, but as we cross the start finish line, I can see we've got a 139, 182 from, uh, from Alistair last lap around. He's still the fastest man on track, but Luca Allen is only one tenth off of him, and uh, Elias Apanin is only two tenths slower. So Alistair's definitely gaining on the Irishman, and it uh, looks to me like uh, Maurice Mishafa went a little bit wide there coming out of turn one, but not to worry, he's not going to let that face him because he's tracking down the man ahead of him, Shihab Al Habsi. Shihab doing a 139, 281 last time around, and Maurice doing a 139, 221. Excuse me, a 2 2 1, so that's very, very close indeed. But you can see that little off at turn one has definitely already made a difference to the Malaysians race as we continue back to the front of the grid with the battle between number 22, that's Alistair Young, and number 58, that's Elias Cannon from Finland. While Luke Allen doesn't let any of his racing action phase him while he goes fastest in the first sector on the last lap and he continues to widen his lead in the front of the pack. The gap now one second from first to second. As we go through turn the exit of turn seven, the turn seven B there's a little king, a little rumble strip there as we come on the exit of turn seven. Down a nice long straight into turn eight where the track cars probably get up to about 150 kilometers an hour until they break about the 50 meter mark down into turn nine into the third sector of lap with Luke Allen once again and from the beginning of this race in pole position while well, Alistair Young now desperately fending off the man behind him, Elias Apani. You can see the gap is widening between the pink, uh, between the blue and pink cars that make up first and second. And you can definitely see that Alistair Young is going to have to fight with Elias Apani if he wants to keep his second spot and claim the podium for Malaysia. But let's have a look further down the grid and see what's happening with Luis Mishafra. I'm sure he's trying to get up into third position. And find a way past Shihab Al Habsi. We saw that he lost a little bit of time, and it looks like he goes wide there on the exit of turn 11, uh, turn 12, I should say, as well. Perhaps diving up the inside of the track, trying to clean his tires as they come through turn one. Unfortunate news there for Luis in the orange number 13 car, powered by Sokol, as we come around into turn two. Now, no one close enough to make a move. Let's have a better look at turn three. Luke Allen there on screen to the blue number three car, trying to make a move up. Through the, uh, trying to widen his gap up through the kink, but uh, Alistair Young just at the moment has to focus on the car behind him, really, unfortunately. For all the young Malaysian, he's uh, got to be razor sharp focused if he wants to keep the fin uh, out of striking distance, and that's exactly what he's doing at the moment because uh, Elias is, as we cross this afternoon, straight six tenths of a second behind the Malaysian in front of him, which is good news, of course, for Malaysia, but unfortunately, we are lapping extremely, extremely close here. We've got two tenths or one tenth of a second between the top four drivers. Luke Allen doing a 138.827, Eli Alistair Young doing 138.856, Elias 138.758, as uh, as it looks like she have Al Habsi joins the fray with a 138.790. One tenth of a second separates the times between first and and first and fourth, so it could be anyone's race. And you can see the gap there between second and third. That's Alistair Young and Elias Pan and Elias. Fastest man on track at the moment, closing the gap. So Alistair's got to focus on defending, and that's probably compromising his lap time as well. As Luke Allen takes us through turn 10 and up into turn 11, over the bridge, down into turn 12, and onto the next lap here at the Madras Motor Race Track and race 22 of the season, of the 40 race season of the Formula 4 Southeast Asia Championship in the 2019 program fueled by Petron. As we come down across the start finish straight once again down into turn one, Elias still just a little bit too far back to make a move, but maybe into turn two on the braking, he can find a way, find a way past the Malaysian, but he's just a little bit too far back. Maybe if he takes the kink flat, 
and waits uh, waits as long as possible before he breaks into turn four. He can make something happen, or up the inside of turn five. We've seen that before, and it'll be fantastic to see again. And I'm sure Elias is probably the man to give us that demonstration here this weekend at the Madras Motor Race Track. As we continue racing here with Luke Allen still at the front of the grid, while Moise Mushafa tries to catch up to Shihab Al Habsi in third position. Moise running fourth at the moment in the orange number 13 car, still down in the 139s of the last lap, while uh, Shihab doing a 138.790. So the Omani picking up the pace and widening the gap to the man in fourth position, the Malaysian driver, who finished uh, third overall, first rookie, or second rookie, I should say, in the 2018 championship. Struggling this weekend with a few uh, a few problems, I imagine, but uh, not to worry, he's a, he's, a, he's a professional driver at this point, and he's going to get back on the pace as soon as possible to make this race a success and to make every race in the future a success. As we continue racing here, the Drass Motor Race Track coming around turn nine now with Lucas still at the front of the pack leading Alistair Young, who is defending defending from Elias Sapanin from Finland in the red number 58 car. We can see Elias has his man on track last time around, but uh, I'm sure Alistair has something to say about that. And as we cross the start finish straight, we may see what he has to answer with, with 10 minutes left on the board. Let's see if we can get things refreshed before we cross the line. Yep, looks like last time around, uh, Alistair Young actually the fastest man on track, doing the fastest, is uh, setting his personal best at 138.719. As we cross the line once again, just a few moments, we'll have a, another update on the time for you and see exactly what happened. But it definitely looks like Elias is still closing in on the man in front of him, the, orange, the pink number 22 guy. You can see that gap is almost non existent, but just too much to make a move at the moment as we continue through turn three now with Lucas still at the front of the, at the, at the, front of the pack. The gap only eight tenths of a second between first and second, at least the last time they crossed the start finish line. Let's have a look if we can refresh that. Uh, no, not, not, the time's not updated just yet as we come down into the second second. This is the battle now for the leading lady cat to game. Uh, Sneha Sharma in the purple number nine car at the, front of the, at, the, at the front of the battle there, trying to maintain position as Mira Erde in the yellow number 36 car attacks, attacks her rear end coming through turn one down into turn two. But back to the front of the grid, let's have a look at what's happening here with Luca Allen in the blue number three car. That really demonstrates uh, the lead he has managed to edge out for himself. It's not that much though, ladies and gentlemen, only about one second as Elias Apanin goes around the outside at turn seven B. Let's pan right and see if we can catch that fantastic action. Elias Apanin now up the inside into turn eight and says thank you very much, Alice but Alice is going to try and make a move back up the inside again. Maybe he can hold his line, but he looks like he went a little bit squirrely coming out of turn eight and has lost that position now to Elias Panin. And very quickly, you can see Shihab Al Habsi is closing the gap to the Malaysian as well. This could be terrible news for Malaysia because Shihab is going to capitalize on the fight between Elias and the man who now resides in third position, Al Young. While Luke Allen last lap goes fastest, fastest in the race so far with a 138. Uh, 615 extending his lead to 1.1 seconds while everybody else is within about three tenths of a second of the man in first position so it's close racing ladies and gentlemen but not very many people managing to find a way to get past the people in front of them and uh, one of the few who has his life hand in the man on screen at the moment in the red number 58 car and just behind them a number of red car number 34 that she have all have he trying to get up into podium positions into the top three he's very very close he's going to have a look up the inside of turn two decides against it maybe going to go up the inside of turn three instead but that's a very difficult to, uh, corner to over take out just ash just uh, just ask the other drivers who haven't managed to make a move stick there yet and it looks like a last uh, alistair gets a, a good run through that uh, first sector and has managed to keep she have behind him while Moise seems to be picking up the pace uh, to to counteract uh, his uh, his comrade uh, dropping dropping down into that position and try to get back up into the podium position himself with his orange number 13 cars luke allen unfaced by all of this happy at the front of the grid leading the race from the first lap from pole position doing a fantastic job setting the fastest lap last time around fastest by about two tenths of a second if i'm not mistaken from anybody else so great driving for him of course he doesn't have to worry about all of the intense battling uh, that these other drivers are are coping with but that's uh, that's nothing that's uh, that's nothing to discourage luca because he's done a fantastic job this this weekend and he's uh, really focusing on his on himself and uh, as you can see it's paying off because the gap significant now between first second and uh, of course third position though is still right up in there Al Young trying to find a way past the Finn Elias Apanin in the red number 58 can he do it we'll find out very soon because with seven minutes left on the board that gives us only about two, three or four laps so Al is going to be well aware of that and he's going to be doing everything he can to find a way past the man who stole his position his hard-earned position that he took at the start of the race, but uh, 
but I'm sure Shihab Al Habsi has both of these young drivers inside. And Ruiz Mashafra as well, you can see determined there leading us through. Turn the turn number one in his orange number thirteen as they come down into the first sector of once again another lap here at the Madras Motor Race Track. Hopefully we'll get an update soon on our time screens and we can tell you exactly what the indications are for the closing sectors of this race. But you can see the gap between Luca and uh, Elias Panin very significant at this point. Probably looks like about two seconds to me as we continue down into the second sector now. Alistair Young gonna have a look uh, at Elias Panin, but he's just too far back as Elias may be a little bit squirrely coming into the corner. Nothing to be concerned about though. I'm sure it doesn't phase the young Finnish driver in the red number 58 because nothing does. As Alistair Young really now stuck until he can find a way to uh, to get his pink car past uh, the red number 58 just in front of him and he may not be able to do so because there's a very, very, very competitive grid this year, especially with drivers with Elias, like Elias, Shehab, Luca, and of course Alistair as well as we have a quick replay here of the action here with uh, the yellow car there. That's Mira Erda making an interesting move up the inside at turn two. I'm sure that's going to be under investigation by the stewards. Looks like she might have gone outside of track limits to take that position, but coming through 9B now, you can see the possession still very close. Alistair Young trying to find a way to get past the man in front of him. Elias Pan in the red number 58, and behind him another red card. She had Alhapsi trying to do exactly the same thing on Alistair. And Moise Mashafa, not to be forgotten, rounds out the top five. Uh, another Malaysian driver, a compatriot and a friend of Alistair Young's, trying to find a way past into into podium positions, but just it's just so close here, the racing and everybody's so equally matched. Of course, these cars, the Miguel F4 chassis and the 160 brake horsepower, 2000 cc inline four cylinder engine, these cars are all identical and nobody has any advantage. So it's very difficult for anyone to find a way past unless they're right up beside the man in front of them and get a fantastic line through the corner to make something happen, especially here at this track, which is so technical and demanding on these cars and these drivers as well as we continue into the closing sectors of the race now. Five minutes left on the board as we come into sector two of the lap with Elias still holding up. Alistair seems to be quite comfortable in his position. I'm sure Alistair trying to find a way past the man in front of him but I don't know where he could find it because they're so equally matched here at the Madras Motor Race Track, at least this weekend in the Formula 4 Southeast Asian Championship. As we continue with the battle here with Maurice Mishafra in the orange number 13 car, trying to find a way past Shehab Al Habsi in front of him. You can see the battle going on for second and third and fourth, fourth and fifth as well. Nobody quite managed to find a way past, but everybody just so close together. The, the lap times between first and fifth are separated by three tenths of a second. Three tenths of a second between the fastest man on track and fourth position, but there's not, there's just not enough room here to try and get past, and these drivers are desperately aware of that. If they go off, it could ruin their entire weekend. So everybody thinking about that event championship and perhaps considering a second position is better than a DNF with a risky overtake as we come across the start line once again. Let's see if we can get these uh, timing screen refreshed. We've done a total of 10 laps now, if I'm not mistaken, so that means there's only one or two left to go. I don't see the last lap board being prepared, so there's still a few there's still a few more laps to go, perhaps two or three, as we continue with uh, Muiz trying to catch up. I shouldn't say trying to catch up. He's right over the back of the man in front of him. Shehab Al Habsi, the Omani driver, joining us once again this weekend, doing fantastically this weekend so far. The winner in the first race, the fastest in free practice. Great driving from him. And the problem is he's just uh, he's just holding off the man behind him, as everyone seems to be able to do here. Drast motor race track. Let's have a look at the lap times. Luke Allen doing a 139.374, followed by a 139.413 by Elias Sapan, and a 139.229, a one by Alistair, and a 139.551 by Shehab, and a 139.653. So the top, the top five separated by three tenths of a second only. And Alistair Young, interestingly enough, fastest man on track last time around. So he may be starting to close the gap between himself and Elias. The gap at the uh, start of the lap was only three tenths of a second. You can see how close he is. He's not giving way, he's not giving up, he's not falling back, but he's just not able to find a way past the finished driver who hasn't made a, yet, a mistake yet this weekend and is driving flawlessly. As we continue down into turn nine B now and up into turn 10, the, shot, the hard uh, U-turn, you can see how close together they get, but there's just nowhere for Alistair to go. He has to maintain the line and hope to try and find a move, perhaps at turn three, turn, turn two, I should say, that's a good place to try and make a move. Turn one is just flat, there's no braking, so it is, it's almost impossible. But maybe into turn four, maybe at turn eight or turn nine. Last lap board out now. 
So that means this is going to be the last lap, ladies and gentlemen. So if Alistair Young is going to make something happen, he's going to have to make it happen this lap. And Luke Allen, though, unfazed by all of this action as he continues to widen his lead. The gap now three seconds from first to second. As you can see, the gap between second and fourth is, let's have a quick look, about eight, uh, about a second between second and fourth. So that's, uh, that's, uh, that's indicative of how close these cars are together and how close everyone is. But they just can't find a way past the man in front of them because it's, uh, this is such a, a demanding and technical track as we continue down into the end of the first sector, up into the second sector that cuts about there at, uh, at the entrance to turn four. You can see Alistair just trying to find a way, trying to trying to follow him, trying to follow Elias, trying to wait uh, until he makes a mistake and pounce, but the Finnish driver not one to make mistakes as he as he leads the Malaysian through the second sector of the lap, through turn six into turn seven. On the exit of turn seven B, this is where Alistair made a small mistake and Elias went around. But uh, Alistair are able to repay the favor as they as we have a quick look back to the front of the grid. You gotta pay some love to the man leading the race, leading the race from the first lap, I should say, leading from pole position, fantastic driving from the Irishman Luke Allen in the blue number three car as he goes outside, uh, uses every inch of the track as is warranted in these Formula 4 cars around turn 10. Sharp right hander here into turn 11, up over the bridge, down into turn 12. That will be it, ladies and gentlemen, and Luke Allen will be your race winner. Fantastic drive from the Irishman. Great to see him uh, back on the top step where he belongs. And he takes a checker flag with a total time. I'm sure we will be impressed by with uh, Elias Sapanen finishing in second position, Alice Young in third, and she have Al Habsi fourth. Good. I started P5, I think. I managed to get uh, one place straight in the start, then I was uh, putting pressure on Arista, and then it promoted me to first place. It was, it was just a bit careless, stupid, and I, I went a bit wide at turn seven, and, and I didn't anticipate it to slow me down that much, but yeah, it, it was just really careless, and it, in the end it cost me the win. I'm gonna nail the start, and I'm not gonna tell you what I'm doing, so I can win tomorrow. For me, the race was not bad. I also didn't lose like quite a lot of. Uh, so I'll be starting uh, in front of them, so yeah, it would be uh, helpful for me. So I'll try to get a very good start and pull away from them. Now, luckily, I had a good start, and I was able to maintain my lead. It got pretty close towards the end. I'm just gonna drive like it's qualifying and keep pushing till the checkered flag, and try to get uh, better lap times to improve as a driver and enjoy the championship. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, really, we've reached the end of the race. So for me, Aaron Thompson, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow. We have another two races for you then. I'm sure it'll be as, as exciting as always. Thank you very much. Goodbye.